This is the gross, smelly, and messy history of toilets. So plop on down and flush that like button. If you've ever been in the Boy Scouts or gone on any real long hikes, you know exactly what our forefathers did. Just like bears, they pooped in the woods. For generations, that was all of it. I won't bother you with that whole mess. The real question is, once civilization started, how did people first start using the bathroom? Start our journey through the history of toilets through Mesopotamia, because it always starts with Mesopotamia, since they are the cradle of civilization. That's when pooping first got sophisticated. They developed the first known internal pit toilets, let's sewer systems, as well as clay piping, plus a nice little seat they called their throne. Meanwhile, independently, over in Scotland, there was a place called Scarabrea, which dropped some knowledge on some communal drains. A few hundred years later, we had the Indus Valley Civilization. They created their own version of cesspits in the urban environment. As time crept forward, every civilization put their own flush or spin on the toilet. Whether it was the Indians in Luthal, or the Persians, the Minoan Greeks, or the Egyptians, everybody had their own way to do their business. For instance, in Egypt, just like the cats they loved, they used to go to the bathroom in sand pits, and they'd cover it up just like a little cat. In China, they had a really weird toilet, one that's still used today in some regions of rural China, even though the CCP is attempting to get rid of it. Instead of just having a regular old outhouse, they would put an outhouse on top of a pigsty, and then the pigs would eat your droppings, and you'd eat the pig. Yum. Sizzle up some bacon. Don't be that guy. Make sure you double flush that subscribe button. Actually, single flush. If you double, it'll unsub. Now, the Romans had some different options. They had both public latrines as well as private ones in their own homes. In public latrines, you had the amazing opportunity to poop next to dozens of other people, touching knees. And if you look in the little corner of this picture, those guys... How, how could you possibly be using that at the same time? I don't know. You would have gotten real close to your buddies though. Just imagine everyone's gossiping, doing their business, and then they have to share a communal sponge. This sponge that they use to clean themselves with. The little cutout hole underneath the toilet that would stick the sponge in to clean themselves. Some places, if they were a little bit fancier, they might have some vinegar or some water to dip the sponge into. But can it ever be clean enough? I don't think that it could ever be clean enough. I'd probably be that guy who brings his own sponge with him and then everybody tries to tease him, but I am not the one using the communal sponge. Meanwhile, in Roman homes, if they were a little bit fancier, they had their own toilets in the kitchen because that's where you want to go. I guess the phrase, don't poop where you eat, hadn't been invented yet. The reason for this was because they would dump everything from the kitchen, all the trash in there. Blockages were really common in Rome, and so the occasional explosion due to the methane buildup and then caused, you know, half the city to burn down. As well as people were terrified of rats and other animals, including an octopus, climbing out of the toilets and attacking people. I'm guessing they were kind of like Florida with all their python problems coming out of toilets. Through all the civilizations, urine was often collected separately because it was used in many different things from brushing their teeth to cleaning wool. In fact, if your last name is Fuller or Tucker, your ancestors probably used theirs and other people's urine to properly clean the wool that they would use to then weave. While people in history didn't understand germ theory or have any concept of that idea, they did understand that they were getting diseases if they were around poop too much. These diseases were like dysentery, cholera, typhoid, and many others. What they assumed, though, was it was from miasma or bad air because it was stinky. During the plague era, that's why they had those masks. And this miasma idea lasted all the way from the Romans almost to our current era. Now, a big problem with sewers throughout the centuries, even till today, is that they can back up if they're not cleaned out properly. Not just explosions can occur, but also just massive flooding. If you've ever been to a third world country, or probably Detroit, you know what this is. Or after Rome fell and their sewer system stopped working, Europe went back to a very dark period in its history where they just start dumping their dumps everywhere. And it became very risky to walk under any open windows just in case they might get you by dumping their stuff. Meanwhile, castles had their own toilets that would drop out into the moat or just into a big cesspit outside the castle. There are people named muckrakers or gung farmers who would go around and collect all of the poop and then sell it as manure to the farmers. This practice is still done in many parts of the world. London was one of the first real cities to build a modern sewer system. It's actually considered one of the greatest modern marvels of the modern world. Engineering feat 
of the London sewer system is actually pretty incredible. The modern toilet was slowly being developed by a bunch of different people until finally they got to the modern one with the S-Bend. Contrary to popular belief, the guy named Crapper did not invent the toilet. However, he did manufacture and sell them really efficiently. However, funnily enough, the term crap actually predates Crapper by several centuries, which is why it was so funny for him to sell toilets. Eventually, the toilet became perfected with the U-Bend, with a little bit of water right at the bottom to prevent gases from coming out and stinking up the place. However, modern indoor plumbing is actually a fairly new invention. In the UK, it wasn't required until after World War I. I've heard many old people people talk about how when they were born out in the country, they still used an outhouse. Nowadays in the West, everybody uses normal toilets, except for those van life people with their weird compost toilets that I don't believe for a second work. Two billion people around the world are still without modern toilets. Modern plumbing is actually considered the most important medical advancement of all time, more than vaccines, more than antibiotics. Why? Because it's done more to get rid of deaths from weird diseases caused by feces than anything else. However, dehydration from diarrhea is actually still the number one cause of death among children. Hundreds of thousands of children die every single year because of it. The future is bright for toilets, however, as new discoveries are being made and astronauts are pooping in space and we're all having a great time, including those crazy Japanese toilets that sing to you. Thank you so much for watching. This is by far my most ridiculous video that I've made so far, but hey, everybody poops, so why not? Please subscribe, like, and check out these other videos. Don't flush away this opportunity to subscribe.